Evening guys, what's happening? Sash from Britlow Social Club. Um, I feel it was about time we spoke about trials, something we use every day between all of us. Um, I've got a selection of about 20 trials here that I want to talk through. Different handles, different patterns, different sizes, um, and they've all got their uses in different applications. But ultimately, a trowel is a personal thing. Um, you give a bricklayer a trowel, he'll use that trowel for four or five years. You put that trowel down and you go to pick it up, you know it's your trowel. If you have your eyes shut, you know it's your trowel. It's just a thing, all right? Don't worry about it, if you're an apprentice, you'll get there one day. Um, so, there's six main patterns um, of trowel. Typically, there's only three that you'll come across. It's gonna be the Philadelphia, Narrow London, and Wide London. So. Wide London, narrow London, and the most common, Philadelphia. Um, there's also a selection of different handles and a selection of different makes, uh, manufacturers. Um, today I have got Marshalltown. So, we've got Marshalltown trails there. We've got the Bond Trail, which is quite famous for this nice, like, blue handle. Um, I don't know if you'll see it on the camera, but there is a little bond engraving on there. Um, and we've also got, again, the other famous trail, W Rose, which is famous for its orange handle and handmade in the USA. So, which trail do you choose? Like I said at the beginning, a trail is a personal thing. Um, they come in all different shapes and sizes, different handles, different patterns. It's it's completely preference. Um, I'm going to talk you through what I recommend, um, its uses. Um, some are better for face work than others, but there's bound to be someone on here who's going to say to me, well, I prefer a Philadelphia um, than a wide London for certain things, and I prefer a narrow London for other things. Um, some people just like one travel together. Um, again it's preference i mean i typically used to use a 10 inch trowel um 10 inch or 9 inch trowel for my face work and then i'd pull out an 11 or 12 inch when i was doing block work um it's just something i got used to um so yeah let's talk trowels um handles there's a variety of different handles we'll start with plastic so this is a marshall town plastic handle and these are these are like a purpley, I don't know what they are, like a purpley aubrey maroon colour. Um, I quite like these handles. They've got no markings on the handles to say what they are. Um, it's just a solid plastic handle. When it gets wet, obviously these are going to be a bit more slippier than your Dura Soft handles. But it's a good solid handle and you can change these. So if you're one of them people that likes to keep banging your bricks or blocks and you've wore the uh, handle down, the heel of the handle, you can take these off. They are a bastard, but you can take them off. Your next one, let's talk about your Durasofts. So this is again, a Marshalltown Durasoft handle. Um, it's kind of like a rubber, uh, rubber based handle. They're really good for grip. Um, if you've got a good grip, you, you'd struggle to spin that round. Um, if they get, they get muck on them they can be a bit of a bit of a, a bit of a bastard to clean at times especially if they get lift um here's here's an old trail here you can see that it just they just get marked up um and they just it will stay like that i mean that once upon a time did say marshall town funny enough it's just worn off um so that's your durasoft that's durasoft in marshall town and this is durasoft by bond um, this trowel isn't actually my trowel. This is not Ashley's trowel. And this is for Rattle Kings. Um, we've been talking recently and we're going to send her out this 10 inch narrow London um, with the like Jura Soft handle from Bon. Um, all of these trowels are from SB Tools, which is up there if I've got this right. And there is also a discount code, which is Bricklayer Social 2021 or 21. Bricklayer Social Club 21 or Bricklayer Social Club 2021. It's somewhere here, wherever I've put it. Um, 
we then go on to classic wooden handle. Um, I've had a wooden handle trail, great trail, nothing wrong with wooden handle trail. People knock them because they look a bit antique like. Um, WHS trail, it's always predominantly wooden handle. Um, and they were building stuff for donkeys with wooden handle before this plastic came out. So they definitely work. Most of them guys that were building some of their marches and brickwork before we was even uh, twinkles in our dad's eyes, guarantee they were better bricklayers than what most of us are. Um, and that was a wooden handle. Doesn't mean if you buy a wooden handle, you're gonna be a better bricklayer. Um, luxury leather. This is a Bond leather handle trail. Um, the Marshall Town one's a bit similar, apart from it's got a plastic cap at the end. Um, w Rose do do one. I don't own one. Um, I'm sure I will do soon. I can't remember what the finish is on that, um, but they're all very similar. The main part of the handle is metal and leather. Um, it's a preference thing. They're normally more expensive. Um, yeah, they're just nice. Uh, Marshall Town, Duracork. Um, I think one of these other companies might do a Duracork. I'm not 100% sure or some sort of cork handle. I think it's W Rose. I don't, again, I don't have one here to show you, but this is Marshall Town um, handle. Um, it's just kind of got like a rough finish. It's basically like the same as the Duras, Durasoft handle, but it's got bits of cork in it. Um, Almost gives an extra added bit of grip to it. Um, it's nice. Um, as you can see, the Marshall Town's actually just kind of like engraved in it, opposed to coloured, like um, the Durasoft handle where you can see Marshall Town. Um, don't feel knocked back, guys. Um, just because it doesn't say Marshall Town, you can't see it, doesn't mean it's not a Marshall Town trail. Still do the same thing if you know how to use it. Um, I'm pretty sure. If you gave me a bread knife and some muck, I could probably lay a brick with it. Patterns. Let's talk about patterns. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, there's six main patterns. You're only going to talk about, we're only going to talk about three here. Philadelphia, narrow and wide London. Typically, you're going to go for your Philadelphia, which is what you see, what you see most of. Um, but, is the Philadelphia the best trail? I don't know. That's again, it's preference. I'm, I'm hung between a narrow London and a Philadelphia. Um, these are both really good trails. Um, it's preference. So, let me show you what we've got. We'll start off with the narrow Londons. So, nine inch W rows. Orange handle. Um, it's got quite a nice little lift on that. It's not um, as flat as some of the um, roses are. So that you see, you see the two different lifts. This one's a bit more flatter, more of a ninety degrees. Um, so that's your nine inch W rose, and there's your nine inch Marshall Town. Both great trousers. This is the Durasoft handle. And that's a plastic handle. You can see the W Rose is engraved in the handle there. Um, I think these are quite good for brickwork, face work, detail work, because they're small and they're narrow for getting in there and um, doing the more intricate work. I like them. I feel like I've got more control. I've got control over any truck. Give me, give me the 13 inch, I can do it. Um, but we're not talking about me, we're talking about apprentices or someone who's looking to move on to a different trail. I'd recommend a nine inch narrow London if you're doing more detailed work. Um, so that's that's the Marshall Town, that's the W Rose, and I believe oh, that's a ten inch that's a ten inch Bond narrow London trail there. M three great trails. Nothing wrong with a small narrow London. Go on to the Philadelphias. Now, Philadelphia's trails are quite well known, they're well used. Uh, typically, when someone's drawing a trail, this is what they'll draw, they'll draw at Philadelphia. Um, now, 
there was a survey or study done on the Philadelphia Trail and they were trying to work out, or beg your pardon, they were trying to work out what the fastest trail was. Um, when they'd done the test, they found that the 11 inch marsh, uh, 11 inch, they found that the, they found that the 11 inch Philadelphia pattern trail was the fastest trail. Is it? I mean, Charlie Collison uses a nine inch, nine inch, eight inch, you'd have to tell me Charlie, I can't remember. Um, WHS. So, and he's pretty fast. Uh, I'm sure many of, many of you others out there, um, Felix, if you want to give him a run for his money. A trail's a trail. How you use it is up to you. So, it doesn't matter what pattern it is. So, I want to show you an 11 inch. That's an 11 inch Marshall Town. Um, has been used. It's a bit minion, to be fair. I don't use that anymore. Um, so, that's an 11 inch. Philadelphia. Um, oh, here's an 11 inch W Rose. Now you can see that that's all, almost identical, but you can see the W Rose is just slightly wider. Um, obviously, this has been used a bit smaller. But this, I think, is a great trail. I haven't used it, obviously, um, but just you know when you pick up a trail and you start just having a little play with it. For an 11 inch, I would say this is quite a nice trail. As an apprentice, do you want an 11 inch trail? No, I don't think you do want an 11 inch trail, to be completely honest with you. I think you want the 10 inch. Yeah, it ain't too big, it ain't too small. Um, it's happy medium. It's gonna be it's a good all rounder for your brick and your block work. Um, don't start getting clever and think, do you know what? I'm gonna go and buy myself a 13 inch sword because these, I said sword because it is a sword. Um, these are absolute weapons, yeah. Uh, if you if you're new to the game, um, and you walk into the workshop with a 13 inch trowel, I tell you now, when you're doing your your modules, you're gonna struggle with that bad boy, yeah. If you jump in some footings, <laughs> it ain't too bad. But the things is, you'll have your eye out if you ain't careful. Um, cause some real damage to others and uh, yourself. Um, but it is a good trowel. I just just thought I'd show you that one just in case. So the 10 inch Philadelphia, there's a 10 inch, a 10 and a half inch um, Philadelphia in a plastic handle. Um, it's half an inch. Um, I wouldn't say as much uh, issue with half an inch. She might say different. Um, half an inch is half an inch at the end of the day, isn't it? Um, just good trousers all round. Marshall Town, as uh, Blade Brickwork said the other day, they are just good tools. Same as W Rose um, and Bond, they're all greatly made. Um, it's a preference thing. It is literally a preference thing. They're all really well balanced. Um, yeah, so that's your Philadelphia. I've only got one, um, Wide London. And these, these are big and bulky. Um, you get plenty of muck on your trail that. As you can see, the footprint of that Compared to the footprint of um, the Philadelphia, I'll show you there. If I hold them up too, like that. You can just about see the surface area around the side is bigger. Um, I know that Mahoney, Ashley from Mahoney Brickworks, likes in there a wide London. It's a great trail. Again, nothing wrong with it. It is a preference thing. Um, for me, I think they're a bit too big for what they are. But again, that's for you to make your own decision. I've also pulled out, this is a W Rose, nine inch Philadelphia. Now Marshall Town don't do a nine inch Philadelphia. I think the smallest they go to is a nine and a half inch Philadelphia, which is one of them. So it'd be 19, nine and a half. This all back to front, unfortunately. But yeah, 19, nine and a half. That's the pattern and the size. Um, I quite like it, to be fair. I don't like a big trail. And then we've got this, um, what's this? This is the, this is the nine inch Philadelphia W Rose, the wooden handle. 
it looks a little bit like a spoon to be fair um it's not it's actually quite nice um i'm not going to use it because i do collect all these trials and i like to chat shit about them all um and offload all this information to you guys so you don't have to go and buy all these trials to chat nonsense about them um to try and help the apprentices um and anyone else that's trying to look for a trial so nine inch Philadelphia W Rose. I think that will make a really good brick, uh, good trowel. Uh, just because like, it looks very similar to what a Charlie uses. I, I don't know if you've got one of these, mate, but I'll give it a go. Looks like your cup of tea. Um, now, this is a bit of a wild one. I'm going to throw it in here. This is an ox trowel. This is an old ox trowel, in fact. Um, I bought this when they first released them. I didn't get on with it personally. It wasn't for me. Um, it just didn't feel like a good quality piece of kit when you're using it. Um, when you're using a trowel, you can tell the you feel the quality as you place the brick and you cut the muck. The sound it makes. Oh, it's hard to explain. The sound it makes when you cut the mortar, you just know. I just don't find it with these. I just don't. I don't know, I didn't get on with the first generation of these uh, trowels. I know that they've just released some more. Um, if you want to go and check out Rattle Kings again or FD Brickwork, he's they've both got the new new generation of these ox trowels. See what they're saying about them. I could be wrong. The new one could be really good. Um, the Narrow Londons, there's another one there. That's a Bond. Narrow London leather handle. I think that is 10 inches. I believe or it might be 11. Mm. Yeah, that's 11 inch. It's 11 inch narrow London. Um, I've, I've had a go on this. Nice little trout, to be fair. Um, again, still a preference thing. We've got this one. This is the 10 inch narrow London again. Dura, kind of, Dura, Dura handle, rubber handle. Um, again, this is Rattle King's trowel, um, so I won't get it too dirty. I'll put it back in its uh, sleeve so this can be posted off. Um, what? We've spoken about the 11 inch wide London, 10 and a half inch uh, Philadelphia plastic handle, 10 inch Philly. Nice trail. That's a Jura Court candle. Remember, doesn't show the Marshall tan on there. Um, it's just kind of like indented. Your W Rose, 11 inch plastic handle. No, lovely trail. 11 inch Philadelphia. Jura Court candle, classic. Nine and a half inch Philadelphia. I think it's quite a nice brick trowel to start with. Either that or the 10 um, is what I'd recommend to an apprentice to start with. Um, it doesn't really matter who you go with. Marshalltown, Bond, W Rose, they're all really well made trowels. Even WHS still makes some trowels, I believe, or Tyzak, sorry, in a Durasoft handle, but they are a, I think they do a Philadelphia and a Broadhill, which is very similar to the Philadelphia. I'd recommend that. Uh, 10 inch narrow London. Not really much difference between that and the nine. Um, really, obviously size is a bit different. Um, it's a good all rounder. Brick, block. Um, even if you're doing your um, uh, cinder blocks, quite good. Um, and then, the ox trowel that we just mentioned, um, I'm hoping that they've they've reviewed the trowel and they've made it better. It's um it's very heavy on the front. It's just doesn't feel comfortable. But like I said, this is the old one. They have released a new one, so maybe give it a go and let me know how you get on with it. So guys, that was me talking about trowels. I mean we. 15 trousers here we're talking about um as i keep on banging on 
a trial is an it's an opinion. It is a pre there is no no one can tell you what trial to buy. Um, I wouldn't recommend you go and buy anything more than 11 inch to start with. I would recommend 10, um, just because you, when you first pick up a trial, if you've not used one before, you've got to learn that hand and eye coordination. Yeah, you've got to get the feel for it. The longer it is, the more you're trying to manage. Um, so yeah, the 10 inch, 11 inch is probably a bit too much to start with. I would recommend a 10, even the nine and a half Philadelphia. Um, all of these trails, like I said, I've got from uh, SB Tools and the discount code is here. Please like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you liked the video, if you didn't like the video, um, if there's more information that you want, again, just drop me a comment or go to our Instagram page um, and I'll be happy to answer any questions or help where I can and offload any knowledge to help anyone. And if I don't know the answer, I'm pretty sure with all of our members within the club, just go to over to bricklayersocialclub.com, uh, become a member, go into the forum and just ask the question. Um, we've currently got about 100 members in there. Ask the question. Someone's going to know the answer, I'm sure. Um, thanks, guys. Another one of our videos done. Um, I'm sure I'll see you soon. I'll be interviewing some, some nice... Uh, some nice brick layers very soon. Um, and also remember that merchandise is on its way. New t-shirts, hoodies, beanies that we've done in collaboration with Mind Your Head. Um, we've got pencils now, we've got stickers, we've got vinyls, uh, brick jackets, SB Tools, um, a Brick Layer Social Club collaboration. It's all here. There is no better place to be if you're a brick layer than Brick Layer Social Club. So stay tuned guys. Peace out.